You're listening to Curious and Interesting, a two-minute podcast on what's new and intriguing in the world of advertising research. I'm Dr. Barbara Phillips, editor of the Journal of Current Issues and Research in Advertising. Negative emotional appeals like guilt and shame are often used to promote healthy behaviors in public service announcements. Guilt is the feeling that I did something bad or failed to do something good when it was under my control. For example, Ads about texting and driving can instill guilt in those who engage in this unsafe behavior. Shame, on the other hand, is the feeling that I am a bad person. For example, an animal rights ad may state that only an uncaring person would attend a circus or dissect a frog. But when should advertisers use guilt, and when should they use shame? Pounders, Royne, and Lee conducted an experiment to examine this question. They created fictional public service announcements to promote exercise as a solution to heart disease with a headline that mentioned either guilt or shame. In addition, they changed the time frame of the ads to be longer or shorter. Some of the ads suggested that many Americans have heart attacks every day, and some of the ads suggested that many Americans have heart attacks every year. The authors found that when the exercise ad used guilt and a shorter time frame, consumers liked it more and had a stronger intention to exercise. In contrast, when the exercise ad used shame and a longer time frame, consumers liked the ad more and also had a stronger intention to exercise. The study demonstrates that when consumers are feeling guilty, it's easier for them to think of a health risk that is close in proximity. When consumers are feeling shameful, it's easier for them to think of a health risk that is further away. The implications for advertisers is, are to match the negative emotion with the time frame, or match the time frame with the negative emotion. If you want men to start using daily sunscreen, a guilt appeal may be most effective. If you want women to drink more milk to prevent osteoporosis in old age, a shame appeal may be most effective. In conclusion, negative appeals may lead consumers to positive health choices when the time is right. For more information, this research paper was published in the 2019 issue of the Journal of Current Issues and Research in Advertising. Logo design by the artist Stephanie Ma. Logo production by Cody Schumacher of Island Collective. Music and sound editing by Cheshire Creeper.